hi guys welcome to my youtube channel this is joe and in today's video i'll be showing you how to insert a video within another video i believe you must have seen a lot of this video on youtube where you see the host speaking and then they have um, some sort of other videos inserted in the main video they can put one at the top maybe one at the side and then they place those videos within the videos and that is exactly what i'll be teaching you today so if you look at my left hand side right here you will find another video of me speaking which i've actually inserted into this video and that is exactly what we are going to be doing in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to insert a video of yourself speaking like this one or any other video and then you'll be able to place it anywhere you want in the video you'll be able to place it at the top at the side or even at the middle of the video and that is exactly what i'll be showing you in this tutorial so what are you waiting for let's dive in hello guys so welcome to this tutorial section so um in this session i'm going to show you how to insert another video inside a video so to do this we are going to be using um a nice tool called CapCut. CapCut is a video editing tool and CapCut is available for mac windows android and ios okay and also they have a cloud version which is available on the web and that is the one i'm using too um make this tutorial so the version i'm using right now is a web version if you do not want to download um the software and store it on your computer or if your computer is not compatible like um linux i use a linux um os that's open to and there's no um, a compatible version so the only option i have is to use the web version but i can assure you that the web version and the um, desktop version have almost the same feature so you can do almost everything you do on the desktop on the web version so to get started we need to uh, create a new video i'm just going to create complete video right here and capcut is going to load up the video editor so the video editor is where the magic happens and then you'll be presented with a screen like this you can insert videos from google drive or from dropbox or but then you can also upload manually from your computer so i have some videos that i've actually uploaded here and i'm going to be using one of these videos for this tutorial so i have a video here where i showed uh, my channel subscribers how to use google doc and i think i'll just pick one of this video and work with it so i'll click on the video and then the video will be added to the timeline so now we have this video in the editing box so as you can see this is a video this is the timeline so you need to take note of the timeline timeline is very very important part of video editing the timeline allows you to move from different points in time throughout the uh, video itself so you can adjust it you can see with this you can drag this um, cursor around the video to different segments of the video so what i'm going to do is i'll just play this video as a test and you can see the video is currently being played so now what we want to do is we want to insert some um, videos inside this particular video so i want to put something at this corner and also at this corner so the first thing i want to do is i want to insert a video that will encourage people to subscribe to my channel and i have just what i need right here here is a video that we ask you to subscribe to my channel and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this video and i'm going to drag it to the timeline right here so i'm going to put it at the top of my existing video so uh, how the timeline works is like a stack it's similar to a book stack you know when you have a book stack um there's one at the top there's one at the bottom so the one at the top takes preference over the ones at the bottom so this video valid i've inserted here now takes preference over the one at the bottom and as you can see the video has covered the one below it that is uh, my actual original video the one i'm actually um going to upload to youtube so what i can do is i can drag this to minimize um the size okay so what i'll do is i'll reduce the size of the videos by dragging the edge down and now the video behind it that's the, the video below it's now very visible and the one on top is now at this corner so you can always drag the edge to adjust the size of the video that you are placing on the original video so now we have this video at this corner and then when i play this video we are going to see this video here um 
playing as well you can see now we have that video there so now what we have done is we have inserted a video at this particular point in the time so you can also drag and move this video to different point you can you can move it and place it at different points in time on the timeline so what we are going to do is we are also going to insert another video into this um existing one so i want to pick this video and then i'm going to drag it to this point on the timeline okay so now as you can see the main video is at the bottom and then i have another video here second line there's another video here at the third line so now what we happen is this video will play on top of the main video and so when you play it you're going to see what will happen when we get to this mark so let's see good now this video has completely covered the one below which is the main video so what do you do you do the same thing you drag the edge click on the screen and then you drag the edge of this video down to the size you want you can drag it to any position with your mouse and then you keep it there so we just put it like this i think this is perfect good so now let's play the video to preview it and you can see this guy is stuck at this corner and then it disappears at the end of the video so let me move back the cursor to the timeline and then i play it again and you can see we have a video that is inserted right there so what you can do again let's put in another video to make it three okay so i'm going to put the cursor at this mark on the timeline as you can see this is the main video and then i'm going to pick this subscribe video i'm going to drop it there so what we have now is another video here so if you look at the timeline you discover that we have three layers first layer for the first video second layer for the second video we're inserting and then the third layer for the third video we're inserting so let me play this now and then you can see yeah this is the video i inserted right now asking users to subscribe so as you can see the video is actually um overshadowing the main video is covering everything but then we need to reduce this so i'll pause it i'll select the screen and then i'll drag it down a little bit okay um it's still covering the content so i'll reduce it again and then i think this is fine it's not covering the main content and then we can keep it right there and then i'll play it to see what happens so as you can see the, the video has been started as an overlay on the main video so now let's go to the beginning of our video and then we'll play everything so if you play this video from the beginning we're going to see three different videos that have been inserted at a different point in time um, across this video so let me move it a little okay so here comes the first video valley wait for it there it is right there at the corner okay now let me fast forward this so that we get to the point of the second valley so here comes the second video valley wait for it you also see it at this top right corner right here good now let's scroll to the last video valley and then you also see it at this left bottom corner okay yeah right there so that's how easy it is to insert another video into an existing video so you can play around with these you can put any videos on another video as long as you place it on the timeline so the idea is make sure that the videos that is going to be the insert is actually uh, above the main video on the timeline because this follows the hierarchy the first one at the top will be the one to play followed by the second one and then the last one so make sure that you arrange this properly and then they overlay on each other and also you have to resize the video such that um the the inserted one will be of smaller size compared to uh, the main video so that the main video will be able to show so that's it guys so guys um let me show you another example of how to insert videos into another video so this is my intro video which i used to um start this particular video 
and I'm going to show you how I edited this video to insert those um, videos. So I'm going to pause it right here. This is a point where I would like to put a video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come here and pick the video I want to insert. And this is a video. And like we did previously, I'm going to drag this to the timeline. And then I'm going to put it right here. So now the video has been started at this point. But then this video is covering the entire screen and I don't want this to be the case. So I'm going to drag it down, scale it down and reduce the size. And then I'm going to drag it to, into position right here. Okay. So now I'm also going to mute this particular video because I don't want um, the sound to come out and overshadow the main video. This is the main video at the bottom, as you can see. So, but then this one is just the insight that's going to be right here. So if I play this video now, you can see that there's a video of me speaking right here at the top. Okay. And then what I want to do next is I'm going to place another video at this side, like I said in the video. So the next video I want to insert at this position is this other video with the white uh, background. So I'm going to drag this and I'm going to put it here on the timeline. So now we have three videos on the timeline. This is the main video, the base video. And this is the insert again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this down, scale it down, reduce the size. And then I'm going to drag it into the position where I want to put it. Okay, then I'll scale it up a little. So now we have two videos inside my main video. And also I'm going to mute this so that the sound will not um, get into the main video. So what I want to do is I just want this video to play along while the main video is uh, being played. So I'm going to continue playing this to see what I have. So now as you can see, I have a video of me at the top, I have a video of me by the left, and um, all of these are playing together um, in a single video. So this is basically how it works. So the main work is on the timeline. As you can see on the timeline, I have three different videos showing at different point in time. Okay, arrange them like that. So basically that's how it works. I have edited these and I've inserted two videos. So I want to duplicate these. I'm going to bring it again and then I'm going to merge it with this and then I'll make sure that it covers the end of the video and then I'm going to play. So you can actually put two clips on the same timeline and it's going to extend and play to the end. So I'm going to reduce this to put it at the top here so you can play around with these add as many videos as possible that you want in your videos and everything is going to come out just fine when you are done with your editing so what i will do now is i'll click on export right here so that's what i'm going to do I'll click on export and from export i can download the completed version sure. i'm going to just play this quickly so that we can see what happens in the final video some sort of other videos and start in the main video. You can put one at the top, maybe one at the side, and then they place those videos within the videos. And that is exactly what I'm teaching you today. So if you look at my left hand side right here, you will find another video of me speaking, which I've actually inserted into the So that's it. Let's go and export this. And this will give us our final video, which is actually the intro video that was used in the current video that you are watching. So guys, all the settings is right. So I'll just click on export and there we have it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to share and like this. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.